What's up, guys? Welcome into another episode of the Michigan Recruiting Report. The Wolverines have just landed a big commitment coming out of the barbecue at the Big House, the second verbal pledge in the 2026 recruiting class. Before we talk about him, I want to invite you guys to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for free, get notifications every time we drop a new video, and also subscribe to thewolverine.com for more insider information and coverage on this commitment. You can head over to thewolverine.com, use the promo code UM1, that's $1 for two months. All right, like I said, Michigan has landed its second commitment in the 2026 recruiting class. The Wolverines started off hot by landing top 100 quarterback Brady Hart out of Florida. Michigan went back to the Sunshine State and pulled another top-tier prospect in on 300 cornerback Brody Jennings out of Jacksonville, Mandarin. Now, Brody Jennings is a super interesting one, kind of came out of left field. He wasn't initially on the visitors list for the barbecue at the big house, but the but the Wolverines were able to get him on campus and made a big move on him, impressed him on the visit and sealed the deal with his commitment on the spot. Now, he's interesting for a couple of different reasons. Again, he kind of came out of left field, but also his older brother, Brandon Jennings, was a personal favorite of mine back in the day. And uh, Jennings committed to Michigan, uh, ended up at Maryland, and then has transferred various times. So, you know, Brandon was a terrific athlete and a guy that was fantastic as a player on the football field. But it doesn't seem like he's been able to really figure it out. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he does at his landing spot in Mississippi State. So Michigan now gets his younger brother, Brody Jennings, who they're hoping to keep committed throughout the recruiting cycle in 2026. Now, you know, if Brody has the same talent that his brother did and it doesn't lose sight of, uh, of the mission and keeps, you know, his head on straight, I think he'll have a, a chance to be a, a terrific player in Ann Arbor. He's six foot one, 165. So he's a taller, leaner corner that will need to add some weight to his frame. He spent his sophomore year at Jacksonville Sandalwood, which is the same school that produced Brandon, but he's since transferred to Jacksonville Mandarin, which is one of the best programs in the state of Florida. They play terrific competition. So it'll be interesting to see how Brody looks at Mandarin. Um, you know, when you see his rankings, he's ranked as a three star on two sites, a low four star on another. On three is actually the highest on Brody out of any of the recruiting services, having him ranked as the number 22 cornerback and number 217 overall prospect nationally. So, again, I think he'll have a chance to rise up the rankings now that he's transferred in to Mandarin. So, with Michigan, obviously, this continues to build. The momentum in the 2026 recruiting class, again, Michigan is off to a hot start here. Already having Brady Hard, who's a franchise quarterback, the face of the class, a guy who was actively recruiting Brody Jennings during their time in Ann Arbor this weekend. You know, having him committed already is huge. Then you add Brody Jennings to the defensive side of the ball. He can be a vocal recruiter as well, help the Wolverines get some other defensive talent. But I think you have a great you know, cornerstone uh, on defense with Jennings, a guy who has a ton of upside as a corner. And then on the flip side of the coin, you have one of the best quarterbacks in the country. So I think Sharon Moore has done a fantastic job in 2026. And also Lamar Morgan deserves a ton of credit here. He off re-offered Brody Jennings this summer. He was an early offer back around the time uh, when the Wolverines were kind of recruiting his brother and, you know, in the months after that. Uh, but there wasn't a ton of contact until Lamar Morgan reached out and made him a priority last month, got him on campus, closed on the barbecue. So, yeah, there were some pre-existing ties with Michigan, but I think Morgan did a fantastic job of closing here and has definitely impressed, you know, his third on 300 victory since being hired at Michigan. So, again, for more coverage, head over to thewolverine.com. Sign up for $1 for one month using the promo code UM1. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for free.